Smith, I just want to wish you the best on your retirement and uh, just give you a few tips on the finer points of golf. This particular point in time, Dr. Brandreth, I'd like to tell you that after sitting through hours of your lectures, hearing those inspirational speeches about your game of golf with George Schultz, I found it so touching to my heart that I decided to take up the game of golf myself. Now one of the first and most important things you want to do at this particular point in time, at this particular moment during the game, is to wash your balls. Now as you see here, we have the fine ball professional washing unit. So what you do is you lift the lever or the cover right here and you put your balls inside and you turn the knurled knob. Now at this particular moment, our balls are being cleaned. Nothing feels better in the morning than to have nice clean balls. So as we pull the balls off, I notice that my balls are feeling a little wet, so I want to dry them off. Now at this particular moment in the game, I'm going to want to head over to the grounds right over there and tee off. Or is it putt? Who knows? Now at this particular moment in time, it's important that we decide to set the tee and the golf ball down on the ground. Now as you'll notice here, I have a tee. It's an orange tee, and at this particular type of tee can also be used as a scleral depressor. So we're fortunate enough at this particular moment in time to already have a tee on the ground. So we take one of the freshly cleaned balls that I just happened to clean at this particular moment, and we set it in the tee. Now, with my type of golfing swing, you will find that if we take the wind velocity and multiply it by a factor of 0.87, we'll find the particular amount of levitational force that's required to hit the ball and make it down to the hole. Now I guarantee that my particular form of hitting, if done properly, will guarantee you a hole in one. Watch. this particular point in time, you'll notice that I'm in a situation that's not quite to my advantage. Therefore, in order to improve my game, I consequently develop the foot wedge to improve your golf game with the new patented foot wedge. And by the way, this also makes a fine scleral depressor. So we take the foot wedge and install it on the knurled part of your shoe. Notice that it fits perfectly. You now have a device to get yourself out of a situation that's not quite to your advantage, consequently. At this particular moment, I'll hit the ball. At this particular point in time, it's important to notice that I didn't get a hole in one. This possibly could do, be due to a miscalculation of my wind velocities. So needless to say, to do such a putt, I have to use the appropriate material. And today we're fortunate enough to have, to have a Pro for BIO, Binocular Indirect Ophthalmostico. So needless to say, the battery pack is a must. So you notice here I have a putter, and by the way, this makes a fine scleral depressor. So if I'll just get along with my shot, Looks like some bird shot retinopathy, eh, eh. Piece of cake. This particular point in time, I like the stress at the end of the golf ball game. It is very important to tend to the wounded who happen to be hit during your golf game. Uh, check for detached retinas, which is the important of your bringing along your binocular interrupt thumb scope. And at this point, I'd like to say, good luck on your retirement, Roy. How you doing? Good luck, Roy. I think I'll make it. A little scleral depression might help me out. Enjoy your retirement. I hope we get the chance to do some skiing together. Well, I suspect we'll have to do the easy slopes. At, with your retirement, obviously you can't do the slopes we used to do. 
but we should have fun. Enjoy retirement. We've seen you many times. Thank you. It's been a real kick. Caught me in the clinic again. I've always busy down here and I just thought I'd say uh, farewell. I guess you've been here for a long, long while and, and you know, after your career in ice hockey, I think I, it took you a long while to realize it's about time you just got the puck out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Dr. H on his, uh, Dr. H? No, Dr. B. Dr. Dr. B. B Dr. on B. his retirement. That's I right. thought I was retiring. Oh, darn it. Dr. B, I, what can you say? I mean, the guy has been around for a long, long time. Yeah. One of the most prominent figures in optometry. I bet you didn't know this, but he was an instructor of mine. I knew him when I was a student. Well, he may have been your instructor, but I had him as a student too. I mean, he the guy is taught in the, you know, taught, taught everybody. That's right. And what amazes me is that it's not just the people at the school that know Dr. B, but he's known at every optometry school in the country. Right. I mean, he's got a nationwide reputation. It's incredible. Uh, kind of the silver-haired fox of optometry. I mean, just the clinical wisdom that this man possesses is just phenomenal. That's Everybody wants to hear him speak and tell us his innermost thoughts about optometry. It's and the uh, textbook of his. The textbook. Classic. I mean, every time I'll be seeing a patient, and I'll have to turn around and open the textbook. I refer to it every day. That's, uh, it's, there's not once. And, you know, we still use it uh, teaching here. and. And, you know, there's another edition coming out. I, I, the textbook is just, uh, it's a foundation. I mean, if, if he field. did nothing else in his career, that textbook, that textbook would immortalize him to optometry. But besides from the textbook, I mean, all that he's done to promote optometry and, and, to, and to help the profession and the students, it's amazing. It's incredible. You know, what it surprises me is he's got this clinical expertise and, and uh, all these other areas, but he knows so much about contact lenses, too. And, and although, uh, you know, he touches on that in his textbook, there's a vast reservoir of information in regards to contact yeah. lenses. It's, a, it's amazing that one man has been able to expand so many fields in, the, in a career like this. And in addition to his optometry career, I mean, he was active in sports and all this kind of stuff. I mean, just, just a, a real, real f fantastic personality. And here, I mean, after all these years, he's finally retiring. It's really hard for me to believe it, it's that Dr. Borish is actually retiring. Borish, no! Brandreth! Roy H. Brandreth! Brandreth? Brandreth? <laughs> Wait a second. You mean you're talking about the Rocket Roy? That hockey puck? He's the guy that, that this tape is, is all, all about? about? Roy? Forget everything yeah, yeah, yeah. we said. Scratch that. Forget Scratch it. it. Forget it. Cut, cut, cut. cut. Forget it. Sorry. Well... Let's take another cut, another roll later, we'll think of something we yeah, can say we, about. Is there anything we can say nice about Roy? Oh, I think the only thing yeah. we can say nice about Roy is... How much time do we have to retire? Is he is <laughs> retired? You mean he hasn't retired? I thought he retired several years ago, didn't Who's he? Who's in his office? Isn't someone... Is He's never around here. I thought he retired ages ago. I mean, have you ever tried looking for this guy? I mean, you know, where is He's he? He's harder to find than I am. You know, there's a slit lamp downstairs with his name on it. Yeah, but that's the one that, that uh, you yeah. use a candle for. That's, that's right, you know, that's right. The, 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 one, the one with the sun reflects yeah. off the mirror, yeah. you know. Anyway. Right. All right, well, turn off the... Turn yeah, off. yeah. I don't want to say yeah. anything... Can't say anything nice about somebody, don't yeah, say anything That's right. Uh, it's just, right. you know... I got something, I, more, I, I, I got something more important to do. I got to go. I lost my appetite. It's yeah. noon, and it's I just don't even feel good. All right. I face the final curtain. My friend Roy is here. I'll state my case, Roy, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, Roy. I've traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this, Roy. I did it my way. Regrets. I've had a few, but then again, Roy, to few to mention. I did what I had to do, Roy, and saw it through, Roy, without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way, Roy. Hey, Dr. Brandreth's coming. Oh, gee. Where's my jacket? Oh, my gosh. My jacket. Here. Smokes. Oh, jeez. I got him. Is he here yet? Oh, no. He's on his way, though. coming. Here he comes. Oh, gosh. Turn the television set off under the television. Hurry. Go. Dr. Lee? 
I'm having some problems here. Can you help me with this adjustment? Let's see what we can do here. My God, what kind of glasses are these? God, I can't adjust those. <laughs> Bye, Roy. You mean this is for Roy? Okay, Roy, now you'll know what goes on here on Saturday morning. Please don't bother me so much. Seriously, Roy, much, much good luck on your retirement. And lots of, what do they call them? Birdies and eagles? Bye now. You know, I've been thinking that SS is getting a little slow. We ought to start our barber shop. There's somebody there. Uh, our barber shop going. And uh, let's put our red and white flag pole out here. We'll start shaving. Right, I think right here could use a good trim right about there. Okay? Only halfway, though. Only, only, only halfway. halfway. Today? Just do, let him find out whether he wants it okay. all off or we'll not. We'll do it just half. Okay. A little off the top while you're at it. A little off the top? Right. Well, how about on the sides? That's more in style. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a mohawk? Yeah. yeah. Good luck, Roy. Jim? Oh, man. Oh, good luck, Roy. <laughs> Dr. Enoch! Dr. Enoch! What are you going to say to Roy? Well... Hey, Jeff. All right. Because Roy is the head of the uh, People's Park Committee and he's retiring. Oh, what? What is he retiring? He's retiring next week. Well, good for him. Maybe he did a good job. I hope, I hope he did a good job. I doubt it. You doubt he did a good job? Hell yeah. Well, will you just look at me and just wave and say bye, Roy? We still don't have no showers. We still don't have no showers. We want showers. We want showers. Well, say bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. Thank you. Roy, we'll miss you. Um, I believe that's what they call the cornea. Oh, hi, oh, Roy. Hi, Roy. Just doing some research. We'll miss you. Say one thing, and it's peace and love. And watch your putter. Hi. Hi, Dr. Brandreth. Boy, have I learned a lot from you in these last few years. It's been a great experience. And remember, this isn't goodbye, but this is just the beginning. Love you. Bye. Bye, Roy! <laughs> Anyone want to sign this position to retire Roy Brandon? Bye, Roy. Bye, Dr. Brandon. Thanks for all you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody here, wave goodbye to Roy from Thursday's Mod. Bye. 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 Roy, I was uh, going to talk to you about a couple of weeks off next month because spot down here I've been wanting to visit and we're doing an SS survey of tinted lenses and I know that you can advance me some funds and make it worth our, I mean my, our time worthwhile to go down there. So uh, with that in mind, I want to say it's been nice knowing you as an instructor and a boss. And uh, even though I've been in school a year longer than you in this business, I have to admit you know a little more than I do now and then. I lost my hair from this job. A little sympathy. Does this hurt you? <laughs> this is just a worthless technique. <laughs> We'll say goodbye to Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. <laughs> hey, hi, Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over to our booth and get your vision tested. 
If you ever had any questions about if you need new glasses, how your contact lens are doing, please come on to our clinic located in Minor Hall. Yes, that's Minor Hall over by the Architecture School. We're here today to tell you a little bit about your eyes, so if you have any questions at all, feel free to come on over. And Dr. Brandreth, you've been a great guy. Have a great retirement. What has he got if not himself? Then he has not to say the things he truly feels. And not the words, Roy, of one who kneels. The record shows, Roy, I took the blows and did it my way.